Previously, Japan had provided several air search radars to the Philippine military according to its budget requirements, allowing the Philippines to make its first defense and military exports since the easing of laws restricting the country from such arrangements. Bilateral relations between the two countries, especially those related to national defense, have recently improved so that the Philippine Army has the possibility of acquiring more armored vehicles. Previously, there had been discussions regarding the possibility of supplying Japanese military hardware to the Philippine military, with the Philippine Army as the main recipient of such assets, if this plan was successfully implemented. Typically, discussions previously discussed on this website usually concern the air assets that the Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces might provide to this branch of service, such as the I-1J Combat Utility Helicopter and the AH-1S Cobra Attack Helicopter. However, the military hardware mentioned above coming from the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Forces stockpile is not the only one that might end up in the hands of the Philippine Army, as there is only one type of armored vehicle shown by Japan. Some willingness to provide their Filipino counterparts with upgrades to their armored capabilities in addition to what they already have such as the Sabra tanks of ASCOD-2 and Pander-2 chassis, coming from Israel's Elbit Systems Limited. The armored vehicle refers to the Japanese-made Type 74 tank, as this platform is something that is of interest to Philippine Army officials, because of this main battle tank, the Philippine Army aspires to acquire additional medium main battle tank or light tank unit fleets for operations, because the order for Sabra tanks with ASCOD-2 and Pander 26X6 chassis under the current contract is not sufficient for the quantity we have received. Over the years, the fleet of tank-like armored vehicles in the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force or JGSDF continued to change and improve to such an extent that new types of tanks were introduced into Japanese military service, effectively replacing the older tanks in their inventory. May be considered obsolete. This is exactly what is happening with the Type 10 tank which is slowly replacing the older Type 74 tank which has the possibility of entering the Philippine Army inventory if all goes well. The Type 74 tank served as Japan's mainstay tank during the remaining years of the Cold War, with design features and weapon components applicable to the armored vehicles of that era. It is not surprising that the Japanese ground self-defense forces are producing modern Type 10 main battle tanks because the 1970s era Type 74 tanks no longer suit their needs. As for the Philippine Army, having such a tank could provide a boost to its armored divisions, complementing its current inventory of Sabra tanks. One of the pieces of information here is the Philippine Army's idea to obtain and maintain at least 144 medium main battle tanks or MMBT units, where the number provided is not sufficient when referring to the number of Sabra tanks ordered by the Philippine Army in its current contract. Arrangement of 28 Units the idea to fill it arose when the idea of purchasing Type 74 tanks from JGSDF stock began to be considered. This shows that this number is still a requirement that the Philippine Army has as part of its operational needs. The idea of purchasing the Japanese Type 74 tank came as its retirement from service became increasingly inevitable with the entry of the Type 10 main battle tank into active service of Japan's ground self-defense forces units, as well as other potential offers the country had. On offer to the armed forces of the Philippines, ranging from the locally produced I-1J Huey helicopter to the potentially up for grabs AH-1S Cobra attack helicopter, which may benefit the Army's Haraya Aviation Regiment. In short, the purchase of the Type 74 tank is an attractive proposition that can help increase the capabilities of the Philippine Army's armored vehicle capabilities, especially in light of the idea of deploying a number of medium main battle tanks adding to the current number of Sabra tanks.